Okay, tell us everything. Yes. Uh, what, 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 what secrets do you want to know? Okay, well, one, what is the big mystery of this season? So we saw the flash forward, which yeah. also loved that finale. Yeah, good. It was, yeah, we were, that was a, that was a, it was a really ambitious finale. It was, it, it was tricky because most of it was set outdoors. Everyone was exhausted. It was night shoots. It was still freezing in Vancouver. Um, and it was, it was a, a really, really intense. And we, and you know, you know, really honestly we were still I think reeling from the passing of Luke so it was it was sort of like but everyone kind of held together and came together um, the flash forward's fun that's a, that is one of our big mysteries um, it kind of that the night of the flash forward kind of hits around halfway through the season so building up to it we'll see different glimpses we'll do different flash forwards uh, one every episode that kind of fill in uh, the the uh, the night of and the immediate aftermath um and then there'll be the night and then on the half on the second half of the season we'll see kind of like the ramifications and the fallout from that um but it's it's you know it's sort of i would say that the mystery this year or the the threat this year is a little bit more you know we've done serial killers we've done mafia stories we've done hard crime um, I would say that this year it's a little bit more uh, suspense. It's a little more like the films of Alfred Hitchcock, you know, like Strangers on a Train and Rope, which is one of my favorites. It's a little bit uh, like the uh, crime novels of Patricia Highsmith. So there's a talented Mr. Ripley aspect to it. Um, and then one of my favorite suspense novels is uh, Donna Tartt's uh, The Secret History, which is a wonderful book. Uh, but that's about a kind of a, 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 a group of students at an elite college and a murder happens and then there's a cover-up and it kind of the group unravels so so those are kind of like the touchstones for for this year but but I will say it's the, the mystery is definitely a slight uh, a slower burn this year by design so that we could kind of focus more on emotional storytelling and character storytelling and honestly high school like this is it it's like and it's so funny when we started in the room you know, I'm a big believer in, like, if you introduce the speakeasy, you do a lot of stories at the speakeasy. And if you introduce boxing, like, we do boxing stories. And when we were kind of gathering, I said, guys, this is it for high school. Like, this is it. If we're doing a high school story, if you've ever wanted to do a high school, it's this year or bust. <laughs> so, it's, so we're, 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 so we're, we're uh, really leaning into that, and it's been really fun. Bittersweet, too. You know, I think senior year... Everyone has different experiences in high school, but I do think you have this awareness like oh the next part of my life is about mm -hmm. to start and On the one hand you can't wait for it to start and on the other hand You don't want to say goodbye to your friends and mm -hmm. and there's there's a certain comfort in, in that You know, I know when I started high school I, d I did not fit in and I was I'd come home and I like would go to my room and I I'd, um, you know I would cry and stuff and then when I was graduating I was crying because I didn't want to say goodbye to my friends so it's it's it that that bittersweet uh, vibe I think is kind of hanging over the season also you know it's funny Archie's Archie comics has always been defined by high school mm -hmm. so it's like it's 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 it, it you do kind of like think like what you know what does happen after graduation and senior prom and stuff yeah and then also you have two schools right I do what? So you, there's some seconds, so obviously. Yes. So it's yeah, yeah, yeah. About yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, we, season two, introduced Southside High, mm -hmm. and that was a really great franchise for us. You know, we met Tony Topaz, we met uh, Fangs Fogarty, we met Sweet Pea, uh, uh, and it was really, really great. And we kind of got to see, you know, a school on the wrong side of the tracks, a school that had kind of been overrun by gangs and things like that. Um, we're kind of going in the opposite direction this year is we're creating a prep school Stonewall prep that are going to be our big rivals with Riverdale High so we're gonna see a big football game between Riverdale High and the Stonewall uh, prep uh, the Stonewall Stags excuse me and we're gonna see um, you know I love movies like Dead Poets Society and School Ties so those are also touchstones for this year um, um, I also want to say though, even though Jughead goes there, he will absolutely still be having scenes with Betty and Archie and all that stuff. And and uh, it's a, it's a, it's it's it, it is out of town, but only just out of town. 
Yeah. She's gonna have to wear like, a school question. uniform. She's gonna have to wear a blazer and tie. I know. I know. <laughs> he's gonna yeah. Need it. He's gonna, yeah. Yeah. Who knows? He'll make it cool. Yeah. He'll make it cool. Yeah. <laughs> Coming soon in a hot yeah, topic. He'll make his hat. Yeah. 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 Yeah.